Hello my friends, my name is Legend Ronnie and this game is Rise of Civilization. This video is going to be about the Archer Guide for a full Archer setup. Now, how this is going to help you and where is this going to be good? Well, Archers are the counter of the infantry if you didn't know. And when is this going to be helpful? This is going to help you mid to late game and all you have to do, you have to prepare until you reach there. The main importance into the game right now is that you need to choose a specialization, you need to choose a path. What is that meaning? It means that you have to choose to go order infantry, order cavalry or archers. You have to be at some at good at something mid to late game. So you might not be able to let's say counter the cavalry because Obviously the Calvary will terrorize you down if you have a full Archer setup, but you will definitely going to terrorize the infantry. So this is what this video is going to be about. Let me to late game, everyone is going to have enough troops to be able to do a specific group or if you focus your effort to train those troops so you can have it for later on, later on is going to help you and you will be able to counter other setups. It is a strategy game, you have to build your own strategy. The same way I started like a hundred days ago with my infantry setup, this is how long it took me to manage to max out my Charles Martel, which you can already see in the background. He is a maxed out legendary commander in skills. I still have to do six levels to finish him off. <clears throat> So this is how long approximately it took me to do a legendary commander but now I have a very strong infantry setup and everyone is fearing me and they have very good reasons for that. So this is what I'm trying to advise you. Now before I go any further into the Archer setup or give you any more details about the Archer setup, I have to say a couple of things that is pretty much general. So the talents only work on the main commander, so bear in mind that is very very important. Do not think that you do the talents on one commander and you go on a different path on your second commander. You're only benefiting from the talents of the main commander. Now the second thing is about the legendaries. Uh, legendaries, before you want to start leveling them up, you have to keep them at one star. Keep them at one star, max out their first skill. After that, if you want to proceed forward, you can go ahead. It would be advisable for the epic one as well, but it would not really apply for your starting commander, because your starting commander, you're obviously going to start leveling him up, because you keep playing with him. But in the end, you're going to max him out, so that is not really going to be much of a problem. Uh, maxing out uh, the main skill of any commander is going to help you a lot through the game, which is usually the active skill. Now, the second thing I have to mention about the legendary commanders is that for main skill, you need a total of 50 sculptures. So 50 sculptures to max out his first skill on any legendary commanders. You can see that I have many other legendary commanders which are still at one star because their main, main skill is not 5 out of 5. So that is the main reason I'm not leveling them up higher. Now the second thing I have to say about the legendary commanders, uh, sorry the third thing, is how much is going to cost you to upgrade his skills and stars. So in order to max out the skills of a legendary commander, it's going to cost you a maxim, a roughly of 700 sculptures. So that's how expensive it is to max out a legendary commander, about 700 sculptures. Now, you obviously, you're going to need to upgrade his stars in order to get his stars to max out his 5th to 6th star, so his last star upgrade is going to cost you about 450 stars. So before you want to go and start leveling up 2 legendary commanders, you, want to, you might, might want to bear this in mind, how expensive it is to upgrade their skills and their stars. I'm 100 days into the game. And I have one max legendary commander in stars and skills. Right, now that is out of the way. Let's continue our archer guide. With the new talents, unfortunately, 
My main archer commander is Tomoe, which I wouldn't really advise you to use it as a main commander, but if there is nothing else you can use, as in my situation right now, you can use Tomoe. But there are other better options than Tomoe, so she should be like the last option for your archer commander, the second to last. Because the last one would be the markswoman. So the second to last option <laughs> that you can choose for your archer. She is level 41 and at 5 star, so obviously she was able to unlock the last talent from the archer, which you can see for yourself, 25% damage for the next 2 seconds is not something to give away. And then Phoenix Tail Arrows, which damage factor 200, which I'm telling you is pretty strong. Increase active skill damage of primary and secondary commanders. Venomous Sting. Now that I'm mentioning about Venomous Sting, you're noticing that it says here primary and secondary. Now what is that supposed to mean? That's supposed to mean that most of the Archer Commander, they are nukers. That means you should not engage in direct combat with your nukers. You should always try to hit them while they are hitting someone else. So you should try to hit from a side as a full Archer Commander because that's what the Archers are. They are nukers, damage dealers. They should try to avoid direct damage combat. Now as level 41 5 star this is how much you can obtain and I highly highly recommend you raise your sharp so that would mean level 44 commander. If you plan to use Tomoe as your archer commander which I said it's not really a good option but if you plan to use her after you finish with uh, your archer pad the next one would be a fortress to get. Now a very good a decent free to play combination would be Herman with Tomoe, but Tomoe is second in command. As I mentioned, I mentioned already why Tomoe is my main commander, but Herman with Tomoe is second in command. They both have attack and march speed to your archers. Herman has even more attack damage to your archers. Tomoe, you already know, is increased damage of your archer, and Herman has a crazy damage nuke factor and Tomoe is going to boost that crazy damage nuke factor with her third skill. So there you go, there is a lot of bonuses to your archers and a lot of damage to your archers, not to mention Mars speed. So if you actually need to run away, because obviously if cavalry are going to chase you, you might not have a chance to run away. But if you actually need to run away or chase someone, you have a 15% march speed with this uh, setup. And a lot of nuke. Talents for the Herman would be obviously full archer path. And then you should get rejuvenate from nuke. For the extra uh, talents and the points that you have. Now I have to mention about a commander before I go any further, which is John of Arc. John of Arc can be the second in command to any Archer commander. Any Archer commander. Now the main reason is very very obvious, it says over here, increase Archer's attack by 30%. When she obtain his expertise, that is for 4 seconds, so that is a significant boost to your Archer's. A slightly heal to keep your archers count high so the damage is as high as possible because obviously more archers you keep having while battling the better. Not to mention you get 25% reduced damage all the time if you have unlocked this particular skill. So she is a good second in command for any of your archers. I mentioned about Mark's woman that she is the worst investment that you can do for your archer, so try to avoid her, I would advise you not to use her. Now I'm going to go for the best pair of your archer setup. Well the best pair for your archer setup would be Kusunoki and Isyongji. For the very obvious reason is their main skill, they both have 
fun shape area damage with their main skill both Kusunoki and ECMG now I know ECMG is not very accessible into the game right now especially on the new servers but it's probably going to be sometime into the future as I mentioned these particular setups archers full cavalry full infantry these are a preparation for the future mid to late game when you're going to have the necessary troops for this so Kusunoki and ECMG would be a very best archer setup first I mentioned it is their main skill then Kusunoki has 15% damage on the archer then Kusunoki has this one tragedy's end so when this one has a chance to go in which is when you max it out 450 damage factor for two seconds and Isyongji has this one which also has a 10% chance to go in for the next three seconds a hundred percent up to a hundred percent archer attack bonus now that would be a tremendous amount of damage from your archers not to mention the amount of nuke both can have up to 50% skill damage bonus and a lot of damage factor with their main skill up to five targets and up to three which i already mentioned so there is quite a significant amount of nuke and i already mentioned that since they are nukers and damage dealers they should not engage in direct combat they should avoid direct damage from the enemy unless it's infantry if it's infantry you can go ahead and knock them down head head on right they are both Nuker and Archer, so if you plan to go with Isyongji as a main commander, full Archer path, as I was saying, I was showing on Herman, and then you have to get rejuvenated. But that would be only when you be able to get a full Archer group out. Now, there is another Archer commander, and uh, unfortunately, I have to mention and talk about him which is LC. Now personally I would say that LC is a very bad investment. If you already invested in LC, uh, don't get me wrong, don't dislike me, but you can read the skills yourself. The only good thing about LC is his second skill. So his second skill is pretty good as a 1000 damage factor, especially to your archers. But you already have a epic that does 450 for two seconds which is equal to 900 if you put it just roughly like that so it's equal to an epic then you have this one 1000 direct damage factor and you have an epic like Herman which does 1150 and two seconds of silence so where is LC favoring because he is a legendary isn't it he should be much stronger than anyone else then let's go further, you have Archer's defense bonus 20% and 15% Mars speed. So if you just want to move fast with your Archer's that would be a very good idea. But defense on a new, on a nuking setup, how is that going to help you? I have no freaking idea. You need damage, you need nuke, because that's what the Archer's are for. Then you have this particular skill which grants you 25% damage bonus when you have 15% of the units left and more Mars speed. So with the amount of Mars speed that, that you get, you can get in with LC, you get your ass kicked and then you can run away pretty fast from the battlefield. If that is what you're looking for. Then you have uh, the last skill, which is his expertise and his expertise is really good, but it's nothing to do with his other skills increase damage dealt to infantry by archers by five percent and increase damage taken from infantry by archers so his expertise is pretty good but would you invest 700 sculptures on some very bad skills just to obtain a good expertise i don't really think so so that's why lcd is not an option for your archers now another option that you might want to think about is Frederick. So Frederick as a second in command for your Archer setup is a very good viable option. He brings a lot of nuke, he has 
slightly heal and he can bring you more archers into the battle so you should already know that the infantry commanders they don't have the leader skill so there you go let's say you're fighting a 300,000 infantry commander or 350,000 well if you have a leader commander with you you can bring more archers and you are already dominating that infantry dude some other viable options you can pair if you don't have any other options you can pair kusunoki with herman is not going to make any problem you can pair kusunoki with tomoe it's not going to make any problems i just want to show you some of the best one or some of the good ones that will work right so that would be all about the archer setup or this particular this particular build as i mentioned this is a preparation for the mid to late game if you want to get ready at some point into the game and be very very strong at something like i've done with the infantry and many others have done with the cavalry now is the archers so if you have any question or if there's anything I probably missed, you can always ask me in the comment section below. I'll be happy to answer it to you. Until next time, this is your boy Legend Ronnie signing out. Peace out.